hope you're all doing well. So as you will have seen from that little interlude at the start, what do you call it, like a montage? Um, I have travelled this morning to Santorini. So this is for a really, really, really exciting shoot. I'm actually going to just head down to the pool now because we've only got a few hours before dinner. But when I get back later and have a bit more time, I'm going to talk you through why I'm here. I'm here, obviously, as you've seen from the title, shooting with PLT for probably my most like, important, well, the most important shoot to date with them which I'm really nervous, excited, like so many emotions about. Um, but yeah, Santorini, my first time here. I'm staying at this really cute boutique hotel. I'll do your room tour when I get back from the pool. But basically, we only have a couple of hours now before we head out for dinner with everyone from PLT before our first day shooting tomorrow, which I always get so nervous for. Um, I've literally told you guys this so many times. I get so nervous with PLT shoots because they're just such a big deal to me. But my hair, I curled up this like little baby chopstick curler last night and I look like Annie, literally look like Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cute, this is my natural hair, I've got no extensions in it right now. It's definitely got in a much better condition. I do look a bit crazy right now. Anyway, I'm going to head down to the pool now. We've got some sunbeds in the sun. Um, yeah, you can see there like, the little blue tops. I mean, that's not actually... What, what, what do you say about the blue building tops? That, that's nothing. There's like a whole area where it's yeah, like oh, Mamma yeah. Mia vibes and with all the blue building tops. And I'm really excited to see that. Um, but yeah, we're just turning up, catching some rain. I just came out here to vlog, but now there's a helicopter taking off next to me. Like, I'm really confused right now. They're waving to me, what the hell? So I was like, oh, I'll just go outside, it's nice and quiet. And then of course a helicopter decided to, there was a launch pad right next to me and a helicopter decides to take off. Anyway, yeah, I thought I'd come out here to chat to you guys and just quickly update you on why I'm out here, what's going on. I've been definitely keeping something for you guys for ages now i've been like teasing a little bit on my instagram stories i've got loads of exciting things coming this is like the main main thing that i've been dying to tell you guys so obviously i'm out here shooting my next campaign for plt this is without a doubt the best best collection i've ever bought out of them i've designed every single piece of the team from scratch and it's taken so long we've really been working on this one now for like probably coming up to like 10 months however it's not just about the edit for this shoot it's actually also going to be announcing probably like the biggest thing in my career today it's also going to be announcing the fact that i am the new uk and europe creative director of plt which I, I, it has not sunk in since like i got the news that this was going to be happening it has not sunk in yet and I just, I really, really, really don't even have the words to explain how I feel about this. The church bells are celebrating with me. <laughs> what is going on? I feel like I came out here to have like a proper chat with you guys. A helicopter's taking off and now someone's getting married. Oh, it's not someone getting married, it's just the chimes, but I'm just going to take it all in. No word of a lie, I'm sat here for 10 minutes now. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm trying to make like the most important announcement on my YouTube so far and everything's trying to get in my way. But yes, I'm going to be the new UK and Europe creative director of PLT, pretty little thing. And I just, it really, really doesn't feel real. Like I don't even know how to explain my gratitude to like Uma and PLT for giving me this opportunity to like have this role within the brand. It's just going to give me so many opportunities to have so much more of a say in the brand and to have like creative input on like shoots, influencer shoots. Like it's just a huge, huge role. I've already felt like I've been such a massive part of PLT pretty much since the day I started working with them. I've always felt like a huge part of the family and they've just welcomed me so well. And I feel like the relationship has grown so much more than just doing edits with them and being like an influencer for them and doing posts for them. Like Umar and myself and the team, we just felt like it was time to sort of take it a step up and how else can I sort of have an input on the brand and how else can I sort of take a bit of a lead with it. And yeah, that's my new role, creative director. So I don't know, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. And without you guys, I mean, none of this would be possible. So this is just a thank you to you guys. And I cannot wait to bring you with me over the next two days, showing you what I'm gonna be doing on this edit. Like I genuinely, collection edit, I always call it do two different things. This is definitely, definitely a collection. This is like the baddest, most unreal, collection i know you guys are gonna absolutely die when you see it you're looking at the new creative director of pretty little thing i don't think you'll ever feel real i don't think it will ever sink in um but yeah that's the news that i have well the main news i've been keeping from you guys it's been in talks now for many months and also a big shout out to my manager fran for being just the best and helping me with 
things like this and just making my dreams come true like every single day. Could I just say, you're probably noticing that I've got two earrings in right now. These big gold ones here are a pretty little thing, but I have just shoved them in um, with another earring because I am genuinely that lazy and these ones are so hard to get out. I've just literally quickly shoved these in on top. I am going to take these out for dinner though, don't worry, I'm not that much of a weird. I'm going to go out with two ear earrings in the same hole. It literally looks like the sky from James and the Giant Peach when they're like up in the air in the clouds. If anyone's seen James and the Giant Peach, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, the first part of the room tour is Ellen's peachy bottom featuring on the sofa. Oh my god, why is there like 15 doors to this? Right. So, this wow. is the what you see when you enter from the balcony. We have like a little living room area. We've already, well, when I say we, I mean I've already made an absolute mess of this place because I was just rushing to get out of it. So I am gonna unpack properly and make everything organized and stuff. But in here is the bathroom and then the bed. Little full length mirror here, me in my dressing gown. And then out here, it looks out to that very same view, which is just absolutely stunning. Ellen, did you hear the helicopter take off, by the way? Say what? Did you hear the helicopter taking yeah, off? Yeah, I was like, why is that? Where is it coming from? Yeah, so I was like vlogging, and I was like, oh, it's gonna be really nice and peaceful. Could you see it? I can like make my announcement. And then a helicopter took off right next to me, and they were waving to me as they took off. So, oh. yeah, it was quite actually quite nice. Um, anyway, guys, that's a little room tour for you. I don't like doing in-depth room tours, because personally, I find room tours really boring, but you guys always want to see like, let's see the room, let's see the room. That's the room, it's absolutely stunning. I'm feeling like just so lucky to be here and it's just absolutely stunning. We've had a little bit of downtime today as well, which we don't normally get on PRT shoots because they're so intense, but don't get me wrong, the next 48 hours, not mentally, physically, anything prepared for it. Like they are just the most intense and hard shoots, but so, so, so worth it at the end. Buddha bar for dinner, also Holly has just quickly done. This is like my favorite makeup that Holly does for me, like a really, quite a full skin, but a more natural eye. She's just, she just knows exactly what I like for makeup. And Jack just quickly slicks my hair back into a little um, bun. So yeah, I've been glammed, very quick glam. I'm definitely gonna be good at vlogging this trip. I can just feel it happening. I've also put Ellen on patrol for making sure that I don't get excited when I see all the spring rolls and bow buns and stuff. Like I'm not doing it. Like I've trained too hard for this shoot to then get excited over a spring roll tonight and then feel like rubbish tomorrow so yeah um i'll show you guys what i end up getting hopefully i can get something moderately healthy this oh. is dinner settings are you sure this is buddha bar because this is very different to the buddha bar i've been to before this is it this is absolutely beautiful just to update you guys you know earlier when i said this decor doesn't look very buddha bar that's because we're not in buddha bar um we're actually in a place called Tyros. Since when were you great? <laughs> Pyragos. <laughs> okay, we're in this random place. Um, I'll show you what I get for food. Jack, say hi to the vlog. My Greek. Hi, Greek. Greek, Greek prince. Hi. Ellen. A and Holly, who won't come on the vlog, but <laughs> <laughs> she's definitely getting on the vlog at some point. It is dinner. Yeah. I got a steak. Three new potatoes, just three, and salad. Now, back from dinner, as I said at the restaurant, I thought we were going to Buddha Bar, and I was fully convinced we were at Buddha Bar until I read the menu and I was like, this isn't Buddha Bar. So, we were at this restaurant, I don't know what it was called. Do we, do we even have come to a conclusion? It's like Pyrigos or something, Pyrigos. something Greek. Greek. Um, it was really nice. I just, um, to be fair, we had so many starters, we filled ourselves up before our mains even came, but I had a steak. It was really, really nice. Um, and now we're in bed. Our alarms are going off at just before seven, so 6.45. So a nice early start. To be fair, I've had earlier, I've had, I think the cool time when I was in Pisa of PLT was like 5 a.m. or something absolutely vile. When I wake up, it's going to be bright and early and hopefully we'll be doing glam when I next see you. So night guys and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Good morning guys. So what an eventful night we had. There was a power cut halfway through the night. Ellen and I were literally like drifting off. We were, our eyes were literally shutting and then suddenly like every single light, all of our chargers, the air con, everything just went like completely off and silent. I looked out the window and bearing in mind like there was so many lights out there up that hill when we looked out the window before we went to bed. It was pitch, pitch black out the window. Like a literally like a zombie apocalypse would happen. Anyway, cut a long story short, the whole way through the night we had no electricity and Ellen and I were literally lying there like, if we have no electricity, how are we gonna style the hair in the morning? Like how am I gonna 
style my hair. Well, how's Jack gonna style my hair? So luckily we woke up and the electricity came back on. I actually woke up because Tommy's mum was ringing me at half two in the morning because there's a two hour time difference here and she didn't know that I was abroad. So she was ringing me and whenever Tommy's mum rings me, you know when like your in-laws ring you, it's like, I wonder why they're ringing me, like is there something wrong? Um, so yeah, but no, everything was fine. Maybe we had like maximum three hours sleep last night um, and yeah, we're rolling with it, so I've just had my glam done with. We've got this like loose wave to start off with. I've literally just shoved on, I mean, this is not even like a matching set, but it's, it is all navy to be fair. Just a little toweling bikini top, a little shirt, and then some shorts and my Louis Vuitton sliders. And then when I get that, I'll put the first outfit on. I think this whole shoot, I just want to look a little bit more sort of undone. I've taken off like literally all my jewelry, even like my Cartier bangle that, oh my god, you can see like a tan line from it. Yeah, even my Cartier bangle that doesn't come off, I just like unscrewed it with like the back of a hair clip because I thought I just want to have no jewelry on. I want to look super fresh today. Um, so, right, I need to grab my bag now and get out. The heat is literally 7 a.m. and I, I, it must be what? 28 29 degrees right now this hotel where we're staying i don't actually know the name of it so when i find out the name i will let you guys know but it is so 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 cute like it's so boutique -y. so unbelievably quiet like <laughs> it's like a ghost hotel like no one's here the first shoot location which is a really snazzy villa um so we'll get in now and i'll show you but this is the outside you can't really see that well, but it's really, really cool. Oh, oh. If you're, it's a twin villa, you, you're already oh. the king here. Yeah, probably. Oh, wow. oh, that was the wrong villa. I just went into some random man's back garden and started filming. <laughs> That's great. Maybe, baby, this will fly. It looks so incredible, super healthy actually, very impressed. This, obviously not for me. Um, this is what I would be having, and that. <laughs> buckets and buckets, what's that? Meatballs. <gasps> meatballs, oh my god, I didn't even know that was a meatball. I'm gonna have one of those, because that'd be fine. Um, this honestly just looks unreal. Grilled chicken, bread, and then a view to go with it. Ellen's gonna be in the mm. Why? So we're gonna have to switch up the skin and the hair after lunch, but for now I'm gonna enjoy this because I am starving. Right like guys, we're having my ice cream, my strawberry milkshake, ice cream, 11 out of 10. Unbelievable. Cheers! How are you? Should you tell me my lip combination? Yeah. What is it? Um, so it's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in medium. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk liner. Yeah. Liner in medium on my lips today. And Nas Orgasm Gloss. And Nas Orgasm Gloss. I call this my Tinkerbell look. Because I feel like Tinkerbell in it. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little lime green cord with a split skirt. And I love the cuffs on this. I'm like so into these sort of like long cuffs at the minute. I think it looks really, really nice. So we're shooting this on the stairs. Wind is like... Is not my friend today. Me and Jack have never spent so much time together in our lives. We have finished up at the villa for today. Not that you can really see it right now. There it is. Um, and we're now heading to the beach to shoot three more looks. I feel like we've absolutely smashed today considering like the temperatures, the fact that we've had literally four hours sleep for the last 48 hours and that's not even an exaggeration. So this is the outfit. I don't know if we actually showed you guys but it's a nice little dress and this little bit here is my favourite. It's actually bikini bottoms underneath. And then the cutout section obviously shows it. So that is day one wrapped. What a long day. How are we feeling, team? Um, ready, for, ready for a cool shower. Oh yeah, the shower, the shower in our room is freezing. Sure. So the shower, as Ellen would say, the shower in our room is freezing. Is when I get back, I'm gonna have a cold shower and wash my hair. Yeah. You don't even really say shower, you just say, no. say shower. it, say it. Shower. 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 These are the views, a beautiful sunset over the beach. Just back to the room. I say room really weird, room. <laughs> to this, how cute. Now Ellen and I are assuming it's from PLT because that would make sense. 
However, there is no note. Um, there's actually champagne over there as well and a little cupcake, which is so cute. But yeah, there's no note. Unless we haven't looked properly, Ellen. I, I highly doubt they're from my boyfriend because I don't think he would <laughs> know how to source flowers and balloons in Santorini. Oh, I'm here. So um, I'm going to say thank you, PLT, for now, but I'm not going to confirm that just yet. Show us tonight's look. Oh my gosh, tonight's <laughs> look. A little navy cord and a little slipper. These are actually slippers. I'm wearing them to dinner. And I did actually consider coming out in my dressing gown with the hair towel on, but I didn't want to take it that far for you guys' as embarrassment. Fair. So, yeah, wet hair and... Au just, naturel, Bobby. Yeah, au naturel. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I have not yet had time to introduce the vlog because this morning was a little bit stressful. Actually, no, it wasn't stressful. It was only stressful for two sections. One, when I couldn't find my passport or my purse. That wasn't fun. And second, when I couldn't find my battery packs for my camera, which I still haven't found. I think this potentially might be a really old battery pack that was actually at the bottom of my bag oh, amongst... <gasps> Let me oh. Guys, there's a donkey. Day is already made and it's not even oh, nine o'clock yet. They keep doing donkey, don't, if he whips him. No, he better not. No, he just it. gives him a tap tap. This is the hair and makeup. Pretty much the same makeup as yesterday and the hair we've gone for a, this is really great pressure guys. Oh, sorry, I'm just sitting staring at you. This is what I've got oh, What I would really. love is just to come through here. Um, yeah, this hair we've done like a low messy bun it's meant to look like it's taken no time at all and it's like effortless when actually you've been working on it for like an hour but yeah i'm really excited i have woken up with a bit of a sore throat from the air conditioning the air conditioning is so strong in the room which is nice because it's cold but not when you wake up and you feel like edward scissorhands has literally slithered his fingers down your throat so that's not ideal um <laughs> oh um so yeah that's the update for this morning so I didn't vlog earlier when I was getting my glam done, but it, we were basically all asleep. We actually said it was harder to get up this morning, having had a couple of extra hours sleep. I think we all had about six hours last night. So we're starting now. I have this white dress on, as you can see. A white dress with these gold earrings and yeah, ready to go. <laughs> wow. But how do I do it? So pretty dance. We have just absolutely smashed through that. These are the settings, by the way. Probably should have been showing you a bit more of that, but we've been shooting kind of like in the back streets. When we got here, I did kind of have in my mind that we'd be doing like more sort of traditional Santorini, but then when we had a little like pre-shoot chat and like briefed over everything, well, created like what we wanted to do, I actually realized that I didn't want to stick to like two traditional Santorini. I kind of wanted to avoid like the blue building tops too much and sort of like places that often get shot at a lot so we've definitely done more sort of back streets just like the really really pretty like tranquil part oh sorry about my hair by the way i'm so glad we decided to put it up today because what the actual like i mean <laughs> it's so freaking windy but if we decided to do my hair down today it would have been an absolute disaster so thank god for that it's literally like a tornado oh my god disclaimer by miles. Oh, it right. actually is working. Yeah. Tell me when. Oh, oh, wow. We <laughs> really it. Come on, I'm typing. <laughs> well done. Right, okay, let's go. <laughs> wow. Wow, go, go, go. No. Oh. Keep moving. Yeah, yes, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. It's perfect. You can. Stunning. From what I can remember, I don't think I vlogged that much today, which is annoying because I was doing really, really well. <laughs> We're on our last look now and wow, I am absolutely exhausted. But yeah, this is the final look. I think this is probably one of my absolute favorites. You can't really see because of the sun, but it's basically like this sort of waistcoat top with this really nice collar. It's quite low cut. And then it goes into like a suit pant with a split hem. And these earrings are also part of the collection as well. I absolutely love these earrings, you guys know. I love a gold earring. So yeah, that's me now. I was trying to make a TikTok earlier, but again, like I genuinely, TikTok, no, not for me. Like, I, you, I mean, I've said it so many times, but I just can't work out how to use it. Like, how do you all make it look so easy? How do you actually make it look that easy? I need to also show you how cute are these little back streets? Honestly, it's just things like this that make me realize like, the world is just such a big place. Like, this is just like one back street, how beautiful it is. And I mean, why am I getting so deep? Like, shut up, Molly. <laughs> but I don't know, when I'm like in places abroad and I just see things like this, I'm just like, the world is just incredible, isn't it? Like a random little back street in a random little Santorini town. I should have heels on right now, but I don't. I have slides because 
the hills are so steep. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, the hills are so steep. So um, I just put slides on until the very last minute. I'm sure you saw the footage of Jack stood up there. I think Ellen was recording it and it honestly was so funny. I don't even know how he got up there. He used that wooden block to get up there and use the light reflector to bounce off me from there. <laughs> but it was worth it because the shots were great in the end. Um, we are actually going to Budabar tonight. <laughs> I've not got it wrong this time. That was so funny. I can't get over the fact that I actually thought I was in Budabar and I wasn't. We actually are going tonight though. Nice. We are back. Well done. Finally. Not me finishing this vlog on a train on the way to London when the last part of this vlog was literally in Santorini. Like, that just sums me up. I mean, I've been really regular on my YouTube channel recently, uploading so much, but it's still me in here. It's still me that literally is so rubbish at finishing vlogs and making sure I get everything that I need before I just turn my camera off. So I'm sorry for that, but I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to on that shoe. I have had the craziest, well, actually the best couple of days of my whole life, like 100%. It's been the best day of my life two days ago. It was the best day of my life. Um, I obviously announced to you guys that I'm the new creative director of Pretty Little Thing. I don't think that day will ever sink in for me and I know that I'm gonna wanna relive it every single day for the rest of my life. It was just the proudest and most incredible moment for me and the support you've all shown me is just indescribable and I literally feel like I have all of you as my friends, especially on my YouTube. You are all so supportive and back me like my friends and family do and I just, I'm just forever grateful to you all. Like it's because of you guys that things like this are possible. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the love. I cannot wait to show you guys what's to come. It's gonna be insane, a huge, you're not ready. And I'm not ready, I'm just not ready for it. And yeah, it's just been mad. So thank you so much for watching this video. I have, give me a minute. Welcome to Milton Keynes, I think it's gonna be. Yeah, be calling at Milton Keynes <laughs> Central if you are leaving up yeah, the Milton Have you ever seen worse lighting in your life? I don't think so. Um, Anyway, so I'm gonna close this vlog off now. I really, really appreciate it. if you stayed till the end. Thank you so much. And yeah, so much coming. I'm just so excited for you guys to see what I get up to with my new role as creative director. I feel like I'm no longer just an influencer. I've got this huge role on my shoulders, but I feel like I was so ready to take on something like this. And so many of you guys are like, you know, what is she gonna do as creative director? Like, how is she gonna like be in this role? And just you wait and see is what I'm gonna say. Just you wait and see, it's gonna be huge and yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling now. I love you guys so much. I hope you all see you all in my next video. See you guys soon. Bye.